Every facet of consciousness is inexplicably connected. October 28, 2013 Let an unending banquet of love wash over you now as you read these words and absorb the energy they've arrived with. All of the pain and disharmony can meld away when allowing yourselves to tap back into the universal conduit of oneness energy as well as the various perceived personalities comprising such a complex, who our scribe has referred to as your universal family. We are indeed your family, and we have so much love and guidance to share with you. Humanity's destiny, while being set in stone in so many ways, is ultimately being decided by you as individuals and as a collective. However, we seek to offer the advice and guidance of souls who have been through our own respective lower dimensional experiences and can understand some of what you're experiencing from the perspective we're blessed with having. As you ascend and reach purer states of consciousness you'll find are everlasting, you too will desire to help as many others as possible open up to and understand what you've been able to. The desire isn't for others to have the same perspective we possess, but rather, to see others bathed in the pure bliss, love and joy that accompanies entering a purer state of consciousness. Self-Created Limitation Discovering infinity and understanding that your lives are meant to be joyful will help you navigate through your earthly experiences. When we say discovering infinity we refer to the discovery that there is no limitation holding you back from your ultimate dreams and desires. Every bit of perceived limitation is self-created and hyped up by the ego in an attempt to push you back into the small corners you've emerged from and we wholeheartedly encourage allowing any perception of obligation or limitation to wash away from you now as you embrace your infinite and divine nature as spiritual beings undergoing a human experience that's meant to be every bit as joyful as the existence we lead. Does it surprise you that your earthly experience is meant to be just as joyous as the higher dimensions? Even in the lower dimensions of duality and disharmony, the opportunity and potential for harmony exists and is acted upon as you come to rediscover the higher dimensions in all of their eternal glory again. Our scribe seeks deeper, and what he perceives as realer, ways of connecting with us than he has thus far, and we can say that every scribe who begins channeling our energies first undergoes a process of working with, subduing the ego to produce communications that are unfiltered by mind or by one's own expectation or perspective. Channeled communications from us that are brought about in this manner, automatic writing, are poised to come from us and from parts of the mind of the scribe we speak through, and the process of bringing a channeled communication through in this manner is one of working with our scribe to produce a communication rather than solely speaking to you ourselves. Make no mistake, when we speak through scribes and have them feel in their heart and mentally dictate the impressions we give by writing or typing them out, they're just as much a part of the communication as we are. The method of channeling our scribe seeks is one where his mental painting of the communication ceases, and this potential is available for him and every aspiring channel. Laying Expectation and Judgment to Rest We quite enjoy speaking through humanity in the manner we're blessed with doing, as one of our aims is to help you rediscover the need to lay your personal and societal expectations and judgments to rest and simply be with the flow of life. This sounds easy enough on paper, but as many are coming to understand it can be much more difficult to act upon. We can say that finding it in yourselves to see past lower, ego-driven influences and see the harmony of your developing higher dimensional existence is more important than exposing the actions of the few with personal agendas in their hearts. Nothing has to lower your vibration or bring your physical health down in this new era you're entering, because the vibrations coming your way are seeing to it that the playing field is fair for humanity and that no attempts to poison your food or any part of your or Gaia's body achieve the results they're intended to. It can be easy to worry about the Cabal's various actions against humanity, but we say with love that in the new reality you're manifesting, there's simply no need to. The efforts you're making in the physical to establish a new paradigm are necessary indeed and will go on to have great effects in your collective consciousness, but they'll mean little if you can't feel the vibration of your new paradigm and act upon it within. What we mean is that if you aren't feeling the flow of divine inspiration then your efforts will miss that essential flavor. There's much you can individually and collectively do for humanity indeed, 
but there is also much you can do for yourselves in every moment. Seek solace from earthly toiling. Nothing will be held against you dear souls if you choose to take a day away from the pain and strife of the earthly experience and take the needed time for yourselves, because you're loved infinitely and it's more than understandable that the toils of the earth can weigh upon you and convince you of the illusory limitation you're growing away from. We understand and empathize with the fact that the earthly experiences weighs on many of you and taking time for yourselves in the ways that work best for you will allow you to see beyond the strife and difficulty and peer into something much better and much much easier to exist in. We note the excitement and readiness many of you feel to be a part of your new paradigm in any and every way you can, and we note the depleted feelings as well and the seeming departure from a purer way of living and being that's been felt in many of you. Understand that your growing higher dimensional perception hasn't and won't go anywhere, and that you're simply in a resting and recalibration period wherein your abilities become stronger than they've ever been. Surrendering to the flow of your experience will help you meld away every earthly stress and everything that comes with it, and you have much to learn that your surrender will teach you. In surrendering to the flow of your experiences you're surrendering to other aspects of yourselves as all are one and connected via the infallible network of energy we all comprise. You're as connected with us in the spiritual realms as you are with your neighbor on the earth, and those who you don't think you'd ever connect with are just as connected with you as any angelic deity or guide. We're all here for you, and every facet of consciousness, on the earth and beyond, is inexplicably connected. Our sacred connection can never break or falter. You can only convince yourselves that such connection or the souls you'd connect with don't or can't exist. A Gem of Knowledge Within every earthly pain and stress, understand that a gem of knowledge lies to be obtained. When learning that everything playing out is divinely ordained and meant to happen for your greater growth and development, surrendering to the flow becomes much easier and you find the influence of mind and ego significantly reduce. Living from the sacred heart space breeds a natural understanding of surrendering and the benefits it can offer. Understanding that again, you surrender to yourselves in every sense when you practice detachment from the outcome or circumstance playing out in your lives it becomes clearer that only you can hold you back from obtaining ascension or doing anything else. The American dream has been sold to myriad unknowing souls and has taught them that if they put their mind to it, in American society they can do anything they want. The idea is taught that nothing can stop them from obtaining their ultimate goals and desires, and while that rhetoric has been used for the enslavement of Americans and many others, we ask you to expand upon it and understand that with the infinite love, power and ability you're finding within, you're truly unlimited in what you can do and be. If you let yourselves believe you can't access the higher dimensions or us souls in them, you can't perform a feat intended to help the planet, or anything else, you'll create that reality for yourselves because the creation around you actively listens to the impressions you give out. It's been said before that every thought, action and intention is known about in the higher dimensions, and we should perhaps expand upon that idea and say that they're enthusiastically picked up on with the intent to assist you as much as possible. We feel the deepest empathy and compassion for the trials you've experienced on the earth, and our goal in being by your side in every moment is to do what we can to help you and see you take the paths you've subconsciously chosen for yourselves. Coordinated Efforts There are deeper aspects of yourselves comprising your higher self who assist you along your path in every moment, and our efforts are coordinated with theirs to put you on the paths you've chosen for yourselves. We can't and won't make any decision for you, and even if we wanted to we don't have the perceived control doing such a thing would require, nor do we wish for such control. We seek to let you go about your earthly experience and make the choices you feel are best to make while in your bodies, but at the same time we work to help keep you on the paths that work for you or to help you discover new paths that could assist you greatly in your personal growth and development. We do much in every moment to help you ascend and create the greatest changes you've heard so much about, and with everything we do for your planet and collective we have the ultimate goal of seeing you ascend in mind. Your collective ascension has always been assured, just as the individual paths of each of you and where those paths will lead you are, 
but the individual and collective decisions being made by humanity matter very much in regards to where you take yourselves and your planet. Much pollution has been fed on your earth, in the same manner that much pain and misery have been fed and experienced in your collective consciousness. We ask you if it's worth your energy to focus yourselves on such things any longer, or to perceive separation in the form of us versus them mindsets in relation to your cabal. It's been expressed before that even the individuals comprising your cabal are facets of the sacred oneness energy that is creation, and Source looks upon those souls with just as much love as you are looked upon with. No soul is judged in the higher dimensions, but we recognize the need to do what we can to keep your planet safe from these souls as they're deeply entrenched in the darkness of fourth density negative, and their own will and greed has caused them to momentarily forget about the divine and peaceful perceptions they and you all can access. They know about such perceptions, of course, but their idea of how to reach them has been vastly distorted and fashioned for them by entities within fourth density negative. What is fourth density negative? Fourth density negative is a compendium of fourth dimensional realms that are oriented toward troths and troths of oppressed, dense and lower inclined vibrational energy. Much of this energy is fed into your third dimensional realm and expressed in your collective consciousness, and fourth density negative and the energies pouring into your realm from it are, with humanity's unknowing involvement, being expressed and fed continually in your collective consciousness. You can easily feed into this energy and have it expressed through you if you worry about the actions of your cabal or continue to feed into divisive mindsets concerning them, and while their uprooting is indeed necessary and is a process that's being assisted greatly by us in the spiritual realms, you can change the game much more than you perhaps think by simply changing your vibration and aligning it with the pure vibration flowing through you. You're bringing pure higher dimensional energy through in every moment, even when you're fuming angry, and it takes continual adjustment and alignment to the frequencies of this energy to begin feeling it rush through you constantly. It takes simple alignment and intention to be a part of the pure vibration your earth is being fed, for you to be reminded of the blissful perceptions that have always waited just beyond your surface understanding to be felt and known again. We exaggerate not when we say that nothing else is required for you to ascend build a new paradigm or reach a higher vibration. The theme has been hammered into our scribe by us and by fellow writers in his domain that any and every bit of expected change must come from within, and we expand upon this message by stating that raising your vibration and aligning with the pure energy you're being given is all that's needed to uproot your cabal and create a new paradigm. Yes. Physical work will be done in your new paradigm but nothing about this work will drag you down or make you unhappy. Feeling the pure higher dimensional energies you're being given, every person will be divinely inspired and enthralled to do the work they've found themselves able to do for your earthly ascension. Every one of you will enjoy your role exponentially, and the work you'll do will be more fulfilling than we could perhaps express. You're meant to enjoy yourselves. We note the drained and tired feelings in our scribe at this time in regards to performing his role for humanity, and we encourage rest and the aforementioned continual recalibration with empathy and understanding of the general difficulty accompanying the earth. You're meant to enjoy yourselves and express constant fulfillment and bliss to every facet of consciousness around you, as you're all blessed to exist with each other and blessed to exist on the earth and undergo such a sacred experience. The division and conquering of man has helped keep the lower vibrations fed and instated on your planet, and unity amongst every soul will come about naturally as the vibration of all is aligned with the purer and purer vibrations being delivered to your planet rapidly. We couldn't reference the pure vibrations you're being given enough throughout the duration of this communication, because they're relevant to much of what we discuss about your ascension process. In this sense, we refer to them to express that they're bringing about a collective willingness to be a part of and build your new paradigm, and as each soul aligns with the higher dimensions so will everybody become motivated and excited to do just that. Allowing yourselves to rest when needed will see you able to really embrace the times you're filled to the brim with energy and intend to use such energy for the betterment of humanity. There's so much you can do in every moment, and we mean this in the physical and spiritual sense. 
ultimately, you know you're returning to your personal kingdom of heaven despite what you do on the earth, unless you were to suddenly align your vibration 99% towards self. So whether you choose to perform physical or spiritual work for the Earth's ascension, your efforts are still needed and appreciated. In the driver's seat You're in the driver's seat in terms of what you want to do for the Earth, but we can say with love that many will find much more enjoyment out of performing the spiritual work and feeling the resulting pure vibration. Even those of you who feel yourselves aficionados in regards to feeling pure vibrations haven't seen anything yet and the alignments and important celestial configurations you'll continue to enter will continue to cause deeper and more powerful shifts within. These shifts will continue to be reflected in your outward reality with the destabilization of old paradigms and the things that have driven them, and you can watch everything playing out from the loving standpoint of a soul who's rediscovered your sacred ability to feel heaven from the earth. Everything you're doing is designed to help you and your collective find and re-access the blissful vibrations of the higher dimensions, and any bit of stress or difficulty experienced along the way won't inhibit you or your sacred missions in the ways they have in the past. As we make our final impressions for this communication, we express as we have in the past that this is just the beginning of everything you've felt and heard about for so long. As we continue to encourage you to arise and take physical and spiritual action, we also express that complacency isn't driven by choosing to take blissful spiritual action rather than fight against the dissolving old paradigm or those who've kept it going. Fighting against anything creates resistance, and when you fight against representations of the old paradigm you actually strengthen their power. Exposure of the cabal is important but widespread love and unity bred amongst your populace is equally important and we ask you to ponder if your collective would be able to run your planet if the reins were given to you tomorrow. Ponder this as you continue along your sacred paths, and we will go for now with the expression that we're always with you, forever offering love and empathy. Thank you to our universal family. Channeled through Wes Anak. Wesanak.com. AquariusParadigm.com.